It always starts with a dream. Dreaming of the incredible. The weightlessness. The gravity-defying. The history-making. All these years, we have only scratched the surface. Yet all these years, we have prepared for something more. Someone's got to be the first to go into the uncharted territories, to the far reaches of the globe, to the unknown and beyond, for we are born to explore. Cyan, what have we got there? I'm not sure yet, but I've never seen anything like this. So light, so bright, so sleek. Come back inside and let's unbox it together. Roger that. Meet me in the airlock. I'm Abigail Harrison, known online as Astronaut Abby. I'm an aspiring astronaut, science communicator, Harvard research scientist, pilot, and the founder of the Mars Generation nonprofit. And I'm Dr. Cyan Proctor. I am a geoscientist, space communicator, space artist, and the first black female pilot of a spacecraft. And this is the ASUS ZenBook 14X OLED Space Edition. So this laptop only weighs 1.4 kilograms, is compliant with the United States space grade standards for spacecraft reliability test grading, can withstand up to 2,000 hertz of vibrations, and temperatures ranging between negative 24 to positive 61 degrees Celsius, which is an incredibly impressive range of temperatures. Absolutely. When I was in space, we orbited every 90 minutes. Yeah. So that means that you have every 45 minutes either a sunrise or a sunset. And so you think about temperature fluctuations based on the amount of solar energy that's hitting the capsule. Uh, and in your right, there are extremes there. And so when we're thinking about designing for space, we have to take that into consideration. Yeah, reliability test grades are, <laughs> I mean, they're so important for space exploration. And the reason for that is because space is inarguably the most hostile environment that we explore. And it is also the most difficult to reach. And so when we send something to space, especially if it's going to be supporting life, we have to make 100% sure that it is going to work the way that it was designed. Just there's very little, if any, room for error when it comes to human space exploration. Absolutely. Having gone to space and come back, I'm really glad that uh, all of the systems had been checked out and were reliable. <laughs> exactly. Can you tell us a little bit about what it's like to float in space? What is that experience of zero gravity that so many dream about? I mean, I just remember when we had the um, second engine cut off and I was sitting there uh, in my pilot seat and my hands just beginning to float. And I was like, whoa, this is so weird. And then you unbuckle and you just kind of lift. It's like a lot of people ask me, you know, is it like riding a roller coaster? Do you get that falling sensation? And you don't. It's more to me, I think, like that idea of like Peter Pan where you just lift up and you're just suspended. And yeah. you're that way all the way until you come back and start hitting the atmosphere. The sense of time and motion must feel really different in space. It absolutely does. And I think that this is why the Zen Vision outer display is so useful. How would you customize it? Probably, yes, it looks like there's even more customization that you can do. You can go into the text mode and it looks like we can add our own customizable message that it will display. What do you want to say? Well, of course, uh, to Mars and beyond. <laughs> Perfect. Let's be by Siren. Because we're both going. Exactly. To Mars and beyond. <laughs> it's our mission. And here we have a keyboard full of intricate engravings, trapezoidal lines, cockpit skeleton, even Morse code. Oh, yeah, right. All of these <laughs> uh, like geometric shapes and everything and the display. It is, it is very futuristic. So, Cyan, can you tell us a little bit about unique uh, features or, or any shapes and their meanings that you saw within the Dragon cockpit? 
You know, that's a great question because the inside of the, the capsule is beautiful. Um, it's really designed to make you feel like you're um, part of something special. And, and when I think about the design of the, the layout of the displays, and then also just the circular nature of the Dragon capsule. And so you have these, um, it's, it's kind of like a circular feature going up to the cupola, but then you also have, you know, different shapes like trapezoids and stuff like that. But it's all to have function and aesthetics work together. We also have, if you look here, Ad Astra Per Aspera, through hardships to the stars. I call it the motto of humanity. And the reason that that's such a meaningful phrase to me, and I really think for many other people as well, is because there is nothing more human than this desire to explore, except maybe hardship as well. That's, you know, every coin has two sides. There's the wonderful, incredible parts of humanity, and then there's the more difficult side. And I think that Per Aspera Ad Astra really encapsulates all of that and is such a great motto, not just for space exploration, but for humanity as a whole. I couldn't agree more. So for anyone who aspires to be an astronaut, to maybe someday walk on Mars, or to participate in the space program, in, in any avenue or, or area, my biggest piece of advice really would be to keep their opportunities open, to always be ready to grab an opportunity when they see it, to jump on it, and to really not, not be afraid of failure and to not allow this idea of failure or what could happen to hold them back from incredible experiences and opportunities. Once you have opportunity, you know, you have responsibility and, and how you share that um, experience. And so for me, a lot of it is inspiring the next generation to dream big and reach for the stars, um, get themselves prepared. You know, our, our mission was called Inspiration4 for a reason. And so I feel very fortunate to be the first black female pilot of a spacecraft. And now can I inspire the next generation to fall, you know, follow in my footsteps. We aren't just ready, we are there. We have found the incredible.